All right, fam, so in today's video, three simple tricks with the DJI Neo. And this is something that some pilots asked me over Instagram and TikTok and also YouTube. They wanted to learn like what will be the best thing to like start ripping or start learning when it comes to acrobatics, like full manual or full acro. So in my case, I will say straight up, no BS. You need to dial your flips, your rolls and gaps. Why those three? Because if you learn those three first, then instead of learning slowly and linearly, you're gonna learn exponentially because it's gonna build the skill set that you're gonna need for what's up next, okay? So this video tutorial is just to break the ice and start something really cool and different. Uh, covering the basics and I want to see more pros out there. I want to see you know newbies getting into amateur levels and so forth because we are always progressing, we're always growing but sometimes we need a little hand and show a different approach or a way to execute it or some tips and tricks that will help you learn more tricks to your arsenal and that's why I'm doing this video. So with no further ado, let's go. All right so now let's talk about roles, the theory. So the thing with the roll is you're going to do a full rotation. It could be clockwise or counterclockwise, okay? But the thing is to keep it centered, okay? So you want to go this way, right? A full rotation this way, or if you want to go this way. And this is a trick that will open doors to Rubik's Cube, Kubrick's Rube, Banny Rolls, and many other tricks like Tofu Flips. Trust me, you can go all the way up to deck style tricks, which is like, you know, the harder stuff, but yes, you can do it if you have a solid base, and that's the reason why I'm doing this tutorial. So when it comes to rolls, when you grab your remote control, right? Remember, I'm on mode two. That means that the rolls are on the right stick and sideways. If I wanna do a right roll, the trick, the secret sauce, is of course to add a little bit of yaw to the opposite side. So think of, sticks out. Does that make sense? So if I go right on my roll, I add a little bit of yaw to the left. So sticks out. Okay. But you, this is something that you have to calibrate. Don't go too crazy with the yaw. Okay. It depends on your angle speed, right? How fast you're doing it. And that's the whole thing. You, it's baby steps. That's why I said, start with, you know, mid tier rates. I mean, max rates, meaning like, 700 keep it lower than 800 it's just around 700 more or less and that way you can learn how to execute this trick so if you want to do a right roll right add a little bit of yaw to the left and remember you're cutting you're cutting throttle because if you add throttle then the drone is going to do a swirl when it's doing the roll so you don't want to do this you want to do like this keep it centered and roll perfectly instead of doing like a big like cinnamon roll okay it's not that so cut throttle and that's when you add roll to the right right and then yaw a little bit to the left now if you're going to do the opposite let's say you want to do a left roll right so i have to go this way right sorry this way right left I will, of course, cut throttle and then add a little bit of yaw to the right. So that will be sticks in with this one with zero throttle, right? And here, so I go sticks in. And that is the secret sauce of doing perfect rolls. So let's go and practice. In order to do clean rolls, I'm going to start with sticks in. So that means left roll. And then with the yaw, I'm going to add some, uh, a little bit to it, okay, so it stays clear, so, see, well, that was a clean one, that's our left roll, remember, look at the stick cam, I always add a little bit of yaw to the opposite side of the roll, and it's windy as hell, and I can do them clean, so that means you can do it as well, okay, so, Let's, let's, let's be real. Now, right rolls. I'm gonna go right and a bit of yaw to the left, okay? Woohoo, there you go. All right, look at the stick cam. You don't wanna do rolls like this. That's like, eh, that's not clean. 
always add a bit of yaw to the opposite side, okay? And that will cover roll down. Let's chase it. <laughs> a little bit of uh, a surprising element to this tutorial. Woohoo! Okay, so that covers rolls. All right, guys, so now let's move into flips. So when it comes to flips, it's more or less the same concept of cutting throttle, right? Because you're not going to do a power loop or a do a matty. So when it comes to flips, you cut your throttle. And then what you want to do is, right, let me grab my control. If you aim downwards on your tilt, that means the drone will go up. Okay, so when you go down here, the drone goes up. That is the backflip. Okay, the opposite is also true. If you go upwards on the remote control, the drone is going to do a front flip. So if you go up, you do front flip. Okay, that's how it works. And here's the thing with the flips it's all about horizon. And I'm going to give you a little tip or a bonus secret when you're doing those flips you don't want to have the same speed as you start okay so let's do it sideways so you can visualize what i'm talking about here's the horizon right here's the drone if i'm doing a front flip when i go halfway that's a 180 in my brain it's like okay i need to now to kind of tone it down and align it perfectly so when i do the last 180 because you can think of a front flip and a back flip as two rotations, right? You do your first 180, and that means your camera is facing that way and upside down, and then you do another 180. So a good way, in, it's like a mental hack, okay? You can think that your first 180 is going to be a little bit faster, and then your last 180, that's when you kind of like slow it down a little bit so you can align perfectly and shoot forward because you don't want to go like overshoot and then align, okay? Don't overshoot or undershoot. So you just slow down on that last 180. And then when you see the horizon, right, it's right here. That's when you want to slow down and align perfectly and continue with your front flip. So with the back flip, same principle, right? Because you're going to go like this, you're going like, you know, you're going to do 180 like this, and then the last 180 is going to go like so, but you want to do it so a bit slower, I would say, on the last quarter of the rotation. So when you align with the horizon, you're boop, locked in, and then you continue. Again, you don't want to like over uh, rotate or under rotate. So that's the crucial part. That last part here, that last swing, you want to like slow it a little bit. Okay, so you can align accordingly and stay locked in. And that's how you don't overshoot or undershoot a front flip or back flip. So let's do some examples. Woo! Okay, so you want to get some altitude first. So you're learning right now. So don't be afraid. Get some altitude. And once you're like over here, let's say 10 feet or so, or even 15, when you cut throttle, flip back. You see that? That was fast because I have faster max rates. But that's the other thing. It's good because you can buy time. And if you fail, you can realign. So get some altitude, cut throttle, flip back, and add throttle. Okay? That's all it takes for a backflip. So let's do it one more time. Let's do it like moving, right? Let's go. Let's say you go low, low, add some throttle, uh, roll, add throttle again. Okay? Keep it simple. So anyone can do this. And it's a windy day, so there's no excuse like, oh, Stuka, I can't go out. It's like, well, it's windy. I'm doing it with a Neo. So <laughs> don't BS me, okay? Okay, front flip, same concept. Get some altitude, cut throttle, roll, and whoo, I almost touched the ground there, okay? Remember, this is a heavy whoop. It is not like a super feather light racing drone. It's a heavy whoop. And that's why you can fly for, I don't know, like 15 minutes or so. You will never do that with a regular, you know, like three inch drone unless you put a huge battery. 
Anyhow, let's go over that, add some throttle, cut throttle, flip, add. You see that? That was perfect timing. I was able to recover at the perfect time. Okay, let's do that. You can go low, add some throttle, flip. Woo! -hoo! You see that? I bought some time, I was able to realign. So don't feel bad if that happens. You, of course, you want to do them uh, clean, right? So simple, so easy, okay? Remember, use a good camera angle. Don't go too crazy like me. Maybe use like 10 or 15. I'm doing 30 right now, okay? Uh, so yeah, again, those are the front flips and back flips. All right, guys, so let's talk about gaps. One of the most important things on FPV, and if you think I'm crazy, go ahead and watch all the crazy videos from FPV, including mine. And when you see those gaps, that is the hook, okay? You're compressing space and then decompressing is very, very appealing. Not to mention it's always a surprising element when you're flying on your video. So people love watching crazy gaps, right? So the goal will be to find something that you have enough clearance, okay? Let's say enough space that you can send your drone through. I will recommend, remember, because you're learning, camera angle of maybe 10 or 15, nothing too crazy. You can go slow. The trick is to learn how to set that pitch angle and also your throttle. So you go clean. It looks so smooth. And people will say, oh, you're, do you're using sports mode. That's not even freestyle. You're not doing acro. Watch it. It's going to happen because when you start getting good, haters are going to say it. So learn how to properly lock that tilt you don't want to go like too crazy too fast yet just lock that tilt and throttle and be very clean and consistent a perfect line through that gap remember pick something that you have enough clearance so you can go through later you can pick something smaller and start doing nano gaps all the spicy tricks go blind reverse through a gap that's you know more deck style stuff you can do some mind-bending tricks and surprise your audience so let's do some examples Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go over gaps. With gaps, I'll, I know this may sound crazy, but trust me, start low. Get comfy with getting low to the ground. It's actually safe, because it's not like you're gonna smash your drone from 30 feet high or whatever the case may be. Uh, camera angle, let's put it on, let's put it on 20. Motor starting. Let's do this. All right, so gaps. I like to go through my legs. That should be like your first gap. Align the drone, go slow, baby steps. You see the good thing about going low? Number one, it adds more immersion to your video because all that surface area on the floor. Two, you are actually safer because you're not going extremely high. So go slow, baby steps. Aim, aim at the target between this, this case between my legs and then the picnic tables, okay? Leave the throttle and tilt without moving. It's like, just leave it as it is. That's the whole thing of gaps, guys. When you wanna hit gaps, you cannot push a lot of throttle or change your tilt. You have to be steady, okay? I know it's manual mode and should be easier on sports mode, but no, that's the whole thing, FPV. Full acro, full manual. See, barely moving my fingers. Once you clear it out, you get your 500 respect points. <laughs> Again, use a target, uh, an obstacle that you will feel comfy and it's safe, okay? You don't wanna crash in a building or no. You know, practice at a park, okay? See, super chilling, super chilling. All right, fam, so there you have it. Three simple tricks that you can start anytime with your DJI Neo. And trust me, mark my words, the ones I just mentioned on this video will help you tremendously for what's up next, okay? So yes, this could be combos, it could be variations and whatnot, but if you can dial those flips, rolls, and gaps, 
that's when things are gonna get really spicy. And I know you're gonna get sketchy and have a lot of fun. Okay, so that's my intention. I want you to get better. Okay, I wanna see more pros. I wanna see amateurs going to pro levels and you is going into amateur levels because uh, we're all always growing and it's a constant thing and you know it makes me happy when i make videos like this because i truly want to show people my approach how i visualize it how i execute it so that way it will help you visualize the trick so when you go out next time you can execute it all right so i hope you enjoy this clip don't forget to subscribe and if you want to stay connected with my content Check these two videos right here. And that's it, guys. Stay tuned for more. Cheers.